Hi, I'm Tony Fleming. Welcome to Fleming's Ultimate Garage. Hey, I just pulled the hanging tag off of this car here, Shelby AC Cobra. It is a replica. It's uh, made by Contemporary. And the interesting thing about these Contemporary cars is they're virtual down to the square inch copies of the original cars. Um, that may be good or bad for some people. You know, the Superformance Cobra is a great car, but it's not the exact same car. And as we walk around this car, you'll see this is how the car would have uh, rolled off of uh, the assembly line at AC. It's gone to Carroll Shelby's uh, plant and had the things transplanted to it. This one is the street version, so as we walk around, you'll be able to see from some of the other Cobras that we have what makes this a street version. To start with, it actually gets a bumper. Um, and some people take those off because they don't really love the look of the bumper, and that's an easy uh, thing to do. You can either take it on or off, your choice. And as we walk around, black side pipes. Great sounding black side pipes, too. You know, the one thing about a Cobra is no other car sounds like it. Ford's firing order is really uh, a great sounding uh, uh, symphony of music and this car is no different. So let's take a peek under the hood and I'll show you really what makes all that noise and why people love Fords. This right here is the real deal. It's a 427 side oiler meaning that it has uh, cross bolted mains at the bottom uh, so we have a uh, four bolt cross bolted mains, side oiler motor with twin holly carbs. You know we estimate these motors and we like to underestimate them at 450 horsepower. These engines probably make in the 550 horsepower range. But let's look around inside the engine compartment and you'll see some of the things that, uh, that make it just a level up from a, a typical a replica car. And this car here was actually built in the factory. It's not a kit car. So let's take a peek. Big aluminum radiator, huge electric fan. Got the correct puke tank right here for the overflow. But inside here is dual master cylinders for the brakes. They're hidden inside there, but dual master cylinders. Not one master cylinder with two reservoirs, dual master cylinders. Okay, all polished, stainless inside here. Everything is either, uh, look how tidy it is. You know, it's, it's like old school where it's uh, clean, easy to look at, it's easy to work on if you wanted to. And we have two different air cleaners for this car. These are called Snellings and Hellings air cleaners. Uh, they're made by a company and some people like the two here. Or we have the Cobra air cleaner that would go here that matches the valve cover. So either one you want, we have both, uh, just let us know. You know, one other thing I'd like to point out, if we could get up front here, this has a round tube frame uh, as it runs down here, and that's how the original Cobras were built. Uh, some of the later model cars, uh, like the Superformance, which is still a great car, uh, goes with a square tube frame because they feel that's a little bit stronger, or some people feel an oval tube frame is stronger. This is a replica of exactly how it was. It does have rack and pinion steering there. Okay. Hood scoop. Awesome piece. This is the windshield that we talk about a lot. It's actually a brass windshield that's triple uh, plated chrome. These are wind wings. You got wipers. Car also has a heater. Let's move inside the cockpit because since you'll be spending most of your time in here, nice Simpson belts. Make it easy to get in and out of. Okay. Has shoulder harnesses if you want to wear them. If you don't, just tuck them behind the seats. Has a nice lap belt. This car happens to have an audio system in it. Some cars do, some cars don't. And uh, this one has an Alpine audio system with a six CD changer. This is interesting here. So because these cars started out as British sports cars, they only had a small uh, four cylinder in them, which was like a, uh, a tractor engine and tractor transmission. They were built by AC and they were never intended to, to shove a honking, you know, seven liter V8 in them and, uh, and make that kind of power. So typically the shifters are right here. So if the shifter was right here, when you went to go put it in second, here's what would happen. So that's why they put these shifters forward, so that when you go to second, you're nowhere near. Got reverse lockout, and uh, here's a couple cool features. This is, uh, these are Smith's gauges. These are the gauges that would have come originally on the cars. And this is a reverse counter speedometer, so that you could see, if it was going this way, you could see with the tack and the speedometer, the needles would be very close and you wouldn't have to take your eyes off of it. This car has uh, roughly a thousand miles showing on it. Seems to be in excellent shape. This is nice here because this is uh, German black leather. These are Wilton wool carpets, not, uh, not uh, poly carpets. And you got nice piping in here. You got door pockets that are made of leather also, not vinyl. Moto Lita wheel, the three spoke wheel with the aluminum with the AC in the center right here. Just a nicely done car. You know, this is why you buy these cars. You buy them for the sound. And this is one of those cars that just sounds great.
Nice trunk in here, nicely detailed. And you can actually put three or four soft bags in here. So you can actually take a trip in this car. Um, if you want to, there's an optional uh, soft top and clip-in windows if you care to use that. This right here, if uh, you're a little afraid that maybe your kids might take the car, just kidding, just turn that off, take this with you, and that cuts the whole power off. Most people won't be able to figure out why the car will never start, but that's why. If you like the look of the super competition cars, this piece here comes off and two bumper brackets come on the back. Your choice either way. Correct taillights. These are 60s vintage looking taillights. I mean, they really are. They look great. The underneath of this car, you can't really see it, but the, the one big thing about them is they're a full, full, fully independent rear suspension. This has a Jaguar independent rear in it with inboard disc brakes. I don't know if you can see that. Plus the car is height adjustable. It also has compression dampening, nicely set up. If you want to put a set of big wheels and tires on it and take the car to the track, you can easily stuff a set of 17 or 18 inch modern size Halibrands. They make a copy of these wheels, but these are the real Halibrands that require the lead hammer to knock the, the spinner off. And we've made sure that the car is also safety wired and it also comes with a safety clip too. So either way, if this was to break, here's a secondary backup. I've never seen one come off, but uh, maybe that's why ones never come off because we've always made sure that they're they're correctly installed. These right here are BF Goodrich radial TAs, but they're Euro TAs because uh, uh, they're a little they're rated at a little higher speed, and they do have a big sidewall on them to fill the fender well. So you, that's why I was saying you could put a set of 17s or 18s in there. Great looking car, Guardsman blue, white stripes. We're Fleming's Ultimate Garage. Call us 301-816-1000. We'll tell you all about it.